Well folks, Dominaria United teasers just dropped. Let's go have a look. Hello everybody and welcome on in. Hope you're all having a great and the amazing day. I'm 16-Bit Fair and today we're going to be looking at some Dominaria United teasers that was posted recently. So this is going to contain a few very interesting bit of information of like some hints that we have of what we will see in this new expansion. So we're going to start by going over this list of Mark Rosewater's Tumblr thing. So the first point we have is a new evergreen counter. So what is an evergreen counter you may ask? Well think plus one plus one counter, trample counter, first strike counter, counters that exist that we see very frequently in Magic the Gathering. So this could mean it could be a new ability that they're going to keep on bringing around, or it could be minus one minus one counters could be a more permanent thing that we see. We'll actually kind of loop back around to this when we get further on. A popular Planeswalker card gets a reprint. Ooh, ooh, I wonder what this could be. Wait, do we already know what this is? Is it a Johnny? Wait. No, no, they wouldn't tease us with this if we already know it's a Johnny from uh, posters that have come up, unless if <laughs> they've messed up quite bad on marketing. But, you know, fingers crossed it could be something that we've all wanted for a while. Next up is a blue card with Destroys All Creatures. Ooh. Ooh. So now, mind you, this doesn't mean, you know, blue like Wrath of God or Damnation or something. This could mean just a blue card that has that as a thing, like a big blue creature that has, when it comes into play and you do this, destroy all creatures. So it's got a lot of flexibility to it, so it could possibly be a blue Wrath if it is. I'd be kind of happy to see it, even though I absolutely dislike seeing blue, but that's just me. Next have a 5 mana value creature that can be a 10-10. Huh. Hmm. You know, this will be exciting to see if it's an easy thing to cast. If it's easy to cast and easy to get to being a 10-10, okay, alright, that'd be kind of cool. But if it's, like, let's say, one of each mana color, so Wooburg, and then whatever and stuff, then that would be a little bit less appealing. Next up we have three original Weatherlight crew members are in the set. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm seriously hoping to see another Captain Sisse. I'm seriously hoping to see her. She, I, I always get happy when I see her. And Squee, we could also get Squee because Squee was the cabin of the Weatherlight. Another thing is an ability word that didn't start as an ability word returns. Who? So this, actually, you know, I'm not fully certain on this, so we're just going to go cruise on over the next one. Next we have Rare Cycle of Plus One Plus One Granting Lords. Ooh. 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 Are we going to get some lords that we haven't seen in a while? Or get some new lords of existing things? That would, you know, we've been seeing Phyrexian as a creature type. It's very possible that we could get a rare that gives Phyrexian type creatures plus one plus one. That would be a very interesting and unique thing. I mean, I'm going to call it right now that that's my prediction that that's what's going to happen. And the other five, or the other four, I mean to say, because a rare cycle that should mean white, blue, red, green, black. So I'm going to guess and say one of them is probably for Phyrexian. It'd be kind of interesting to see. Ooh, wait. We could possibly get one, eh, another goblin one, another elf one, will be nice, but either way, I'm excited to see what they're going to throw out our way. The next one, it, <laughs> it makes me nervous to see. A card that grants poison. <sighs> you know, I was truly hoping to never see poison counters be in standard again, let alone find its way to pioneer, but you know what? Here we are. I just hope to goodness that it's just artifacts that have a way of granting poison counters to things and just not creatures with infect because infect is it's a brutal mechanic it really is a brutal mechanic to deal with 
and unless if they give us something that negates poison counters, that will be a whole other ballpark if that's the case. Because remember, with poison counters, you get to have a thousand life, ten thousand life, infinite number of life. But if you have ten poison counters on you, you lose the game right away. There's only one card in Magic the Gathering's history that has a way of getting rid of poison counters, and that card is Leeches from Homelands. It's also reserve list. So hopefully they give us something that can actually remove poison counters. That would be great. Next up, a fact with a lotus in the name. Ooh. Ooh, 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 you know, they never disappoint when they had the word Lotus in the name, and a friend of mine suggested that they're going to do either a Phyrexian Lotus or a Phyrexian Mox probably for this set, but I'm going to have to agree with him. Like, seeing a Lotus card be in this set, we could possibly see a Phyrexian Lotus, and my bet is, this is a, this is just a guess, you know, you're all, we're all allowed to have our guesses on this, I think that we could possibly see a Lotus that says, okay, cool, you can get X amount of mana of that of certain color if you pay X life and sack this. I mean, that would, eh, would be nice to see in a way. Next up, a character players have been requesting get a card for years finally gets one. Oh, you know, honestly, I don't know because I've left Magic a while ago and then I just recently kind of came back into actually playing this year, so... I'm really out of the loop on a lot of things. Next on this, we have something really cool. We have something that we will see as the rules text that we'll be seeing in cards in this set. First one being, there's gonna be a card that says, as long as enchanted creature is legendary. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so this, this might be an interesting enchantment that might be like a steel enchantment creature, or, oh my goodness, this leaves a wide open door for a lot of things. Next up we have You May Ex Instant or Sorcery with a mana value of X or less from among them. Hmm. You know, this could be another flashback card. I mean, when I see this, I think flashback. Next up we have Exile each non-land permanent with mana value 2 or less. Hmm. Alright, so kind of like a small wrath or a... Uh, oh goodness. It's a card from Pioneer. I'm gonna have it up on the screen right here. So, yeah, I'm trying to blank on it right now while recording. Next up we have Enchantment Creatures You Control Have. You know, this is too vague. This is way too vague. This really doesn't help at all. Next one, same thing. If X is 3 or less. I mean, I get they're trying to get, us to get excited for some of this, but some of this is like... Okay? Alright? Next we have, for each opponent who doesn't, that player loses two life and you draw a card. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you know, this could probably be like a second dot on the card where the first sentence is each opponent sacrifices a creature or this right here. And then for each one that doesn't, that player. Yeah, actually, yeah, that would make sense. You know, the first sentence being each opponent sacrifices a creature. For each opponent that doesn't, that player loses two life and you draw a card. You know, that could actually be a pretty nice card we could see. Next, we have an instant or sorcery card with mana value 1 or 2. Okay, this is probably going to be something that's going to be like bring back from the graveyard or if it's a creature that comes into play that ha causes shenanigans with that. Next, we then have pay any amount of mana. You know, when we said things about being vague, like enchanted creatures you control have, yeah, this is this is way too vague. Next, we have vehicles you control have crew 1. Oh, that's actually going to be, be kind of nice. That'd be very cool to see because there are some really big beefy creatures like Parhelion and, oh goodness, what was it again? What was it again? Sky Sovereign, I think? But being able to have those big beasts of vehicles have their crew cost be one, like, okay, cool, this little goblin's gonna make this big old Parhelion run, that that could cause vehicles to uh, be a pretty good archetype, I feel. Next we have where X is a number of legendary creatures you control. Oh, so we have something that's going to care about the number of legendary creatures we control. That's That could probably see some good commander play, whatever it could possibly be. And last but definitely not least, we have some things that are going to be creature type lines that we will see in this set. So we have a Dryad Warrior. Okay, we have, hold up, wait, wait, Phyrexian Horse. Phyrexian horse. What? 
So it's going to be a horse that's going to be corrupted by the Phyrexians. This is going to be like some Eldritch Horror thing that's going to be amazing. I mean, I don't know. Just seeing those two words together makes me just go, well, what? Next we have Elf Archer in red. Hmm. Is it going to be mono red? Is it going to be red green? Because we, they could technically say in red and it'd be red green. But if it's just in red, that'd be kind of cool. We're also getting another Lurgoy for the first time in a long while. I'm going to be excited to see what it is, and I'm hoping eh, they give it a good balance of being good, but not too good. Next, we have a Human Core Soldier. That does make sense for some of the story that we have been seeing that's been coming out. And now on to some of the legendaries we're going to be seeing. Elemental Demon. Oh, I'm excited to see what that is going to be in the end. Following that, we have Frog Beast. Okay. Alright, so frogs are starting to get some more support. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What if one of the lords we get is a frog lord and we get more frog support going forward? Hmm. Just thinking. We have an elf artificer. Huh. That's interesting because that's kind of like a contradiction right there because elves usually are not for making artifacts. They're usually about nature and all this stuff. But so that's, that's a good matchup. We also have the Shino Warlock. You know, I don't think I've actually seen that creature type before, so that'd be exciting to see. It's probably going to be red-black, maybe, if I had to take a guess. And the next one, and last one, is what I'm really excited to see. Phyrexian Merfolk Wizard. Ooh. Ooh, a creature type like that right there makes me just feel like it is going to be a mythic, and I'm hoping it's going to be a powerful one. Now remember folks, we also have, on August 18th, we have a lot more magic news coming on their channel. We also have here, on the bottom of this picture, we have on screen. So yeah, that's kind of all the news we have from this video. Or, But anyways, that's kind of all the news we have for this video. I know it's kind of, a bit of off the cuff and stuff, but we're just recording this and just wanted to get this out because we, it's news, and I want to make sure people know about this news, because I'm excited about it, and I hope you're excited about it. As always, I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you do like it, please do hit a like button, hit the subscribe button. Tell me what you think we could possibly get in the comments down below. I would love to hear it. As always, I'm 16-Bit Ferret, and I hope you have a Duke Duke day. This video is made possible by all these awesome people.